This is Kuralin bag from Lampung's Pesisir Barat Regency. The woven bag made from recycled plastic now becomes more popular among millennials and office workers as it comes with more modern designs. The bag that was once used only for shopping is a masterpiece of these dozens of women from Walur village in South Krui subdistrict. The craftswomen has since 2018 earned millions of rupiahs monthly income. The weaving process of a Kuralin bag is still done manually. The women craft their own products in their homes, thus allowing them to juggle household chores with their crafts. In a day, these craftswomen can produce 10 to 20 bags. Kuralin bag has at least 18 designs now, ranging from sling bag, handbag to shoulder bag. The craftswomen can create up to 1,500 bags in a month. Furthermore, the SME's product also comes with Lampung's traditional clothes of kain tapis that adds a cultural touch to the bags. Kuralin bag is favored by many and for the most part due to its budget-friendly price of 20,000 to 150,000 rupiah. The handicraft has drawn customers from Indonesia and across the globe, such as Singapore and France. The owner of Kuralin Bag store, Ricky Ramiko, said he is relying on social media to promote the product. Meanwhile, Pesisir Barat government and state-owned enterprises also play a significant role in developing this business. Idenya awalnya kita apa namanya pemberdayaan masyarakat biar ibu-ibu di sekitar sini ada penghasilan lah penghasilan tambahan untuk uh, membantu keluarga. Uh, kemudian kita punya dasar bisa membuat tas. Kita coba ajak ibu-ibunya untuk berlatih membuat tas dan alhamdulillah responnya sangat positif dan akhirnya ya bisa lah memperdayakan ibu-ibu di sekitar. 2022 kemarin itu pernah sampai 30 juta omset per bulan. Nampak ke, ke pekerja, alhamdulillah hingga hari ini ada yang sudah berpenghasilan pak per bulannya 2 juta setengah. Kuralin bag is one of the leading products of Pesisir Barat Regency. Aside from that, the SME's product also helps encourage community empowerment. Market itu sudah mencakup wilayah Indonesia, sudah masuk ke retail-retail modern, dan sudah ke luar negeri. Singapura, Prancis, Amerika, sudah sudah sampai situ pasarnya. Jadi sebetulnya Kuralin Bag ini uh, hanya butuh dukungan dari pemerintah terkait bahan baku bagaimana bisa buat bahan baku secara mandiri karena selama ini mereka masih beli bahan baku dari luar Kuralin Bag itu kan dia alat pencacah itu miliaran itu ya, uh, kalau kita dari APBD saya rasa APBD belum bisa support paling nanti kita akan komunikasikan ke kementerian uh, apa nanti yang perlu disiapkan dokumen-dokumen apa nanti itulah peran Pemda untuk memberikan fasilitasi Therefore, local government has pledged to always support the business, calling for endorsement from the central government. Aside from being favored by millennials, Kuralin Bag is also loved by officials from local and central governments. The bag is also used by Pesisir Barat officials as souvenirs for the guests. See today contributor reporting from Pesisir Barat, Lampung.